Good day, this is Professor Will, CBMG PhD. Today is Saturday, June 20th, 2020. It is 4.32 and 45 seconds a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is a continuation of my research on bioinformatics. Let's get started here. Myself, I had not smoked, had not drank alcohol, had not done any mood-altering substances in my entire life. I got all my brain cells. Doctors are so jealous of me, they wish they could be me. Low complexity regions. For both protein and DNA sequences, there may be regions that contain highly repetitive residues, such as short segments of repeats or segments that are overrepresented by a small number of residues. These sequence regions are referred to as low complexity regions, LCR. LCRs are rather prevalent in database sequences. Estimates indicate that LCRs account for about 15% of the total protein sequences in public databases. These elements in query, sequences can cause spurious database matches and lead to artificially high alignment scores with unrelated sequences. To avoid the problem of high similarity scores owing to matching of LCRs and obscure the real similarities, it is important to filter out the problematic regions in both the query and database sequences to improve the signal to noise ratio, a process known as masking. There are two types of masking, hard and soft. Hard masking involves replacing LCR sequences with an ambiguity character such as N for nucleotide residues or X for amino acid residues. Ambiguity characters are then ignored by the BLAST program, preventing the use of such regions and alignments, and thus avoiding false positives. However, the drawback is that matching scores with true homologs may be lowered because of shortened alignment. Soft masking involves converting the problematic sequences to lower case letters which are ignored in constructing the word dictionary, but are used in word extension optimization of alignments. SCG is a program that is able to detect and mask repetitive elements before executing database searches. It identifies LCRs by comparing residue frequencies of a certain region with average residue frequencies in the database. If the residue frequencies of a sequence region of the query sequence are significantly higher than the database average, the region is declared as an LCR. Last output format. The BLAST output includes a graphical overview box, a matching list, and text description of the alignment. The graphical overview box contains colored horizontal bars that allow quick identification of the number of database hits and the degrees of similarity of the hits. The color coding of the horizontal bars corresponds to the ranking of similarities of the sequence hits. Red most related, green and blue moderately related, black unrelated. The length of the bars represents the spans of sequence, alignments relative to the query sequence. Each bar is hyperlinked to the actual pairwise alignment in the text portion of the report. Below the graphical box is a list of matching hits ranked by the E values in ascending order. Each hit includes the accession number, title usually partial to the database record, bit score, and E value. This list is followed by the text description, which may be divided into three sections. The header, statistics, and alignment. The header section contains the gene index, number or the reference number of the database hits plus one line description of the database sequence. This is followed by the summary of the statistics of the search output, which includes the bit score e-value percentages of the identity, similarity, positives, and gaps. In the actual alignment section, the query sequence is on the top of the pair and database sequences at the bottom of the pair labeled as subject. In between the two sequences, matching identical residues are written out at their corresponding positions, whereas non-identical but similar residues are labeled with plus. Any residues identified as LCRs in the query sequence are masked with X's and N's so that no alignment is represented in those regions. FASTA FAST ALL was in fact the first database similarity search tool developed preceding the development of BLAST. FASTA uses a hashing strategy to find matches for a short stretch of identical residues by the length of K. A string of residues is known as K-tuples or K-tups which are equivalent to words in BLAST, but are normally shorter than the words. Typically, a K-TEP is composed of two residues for protein sequences and six residues for DNA sequences. The first step in FASTA alignment is to identify K-TEPs between two sequences by using the hashing strategy. This strategy works by constructing a lookup table that shows the position of each K-TEP for the two sequences under consideration. The positional difference for each word between the two sequences is obtained by subtracting the position of the first sequence from that of the second sequence and is expressed as the offset. k tops that have the same offset values are then linked to reveal a contiguous identical sequence region that corresponds to a stretch of diagonal and two-dimensional matrix. The second step is to narrow down the high similarity regions between the two sequences. Normally, 
Okay, many diagonals between the two sequences can be identified in the hashing step. The top 10 regions with the highest density of diagonals are identified as high similarity regions. Diagonals in these regions are scored using the substitution matrix. Neighboring high scoring segments along the same diagonal are selected and joined to form a single alignment. This step allows introducing gaps between the diagonals while applying gap penalty. The score of the gap alignment is calculated again. The gap alignment is refined further using the smith waterman algorithm to produce a final alignment. The last step is to perform a statistical evaluation of the final alignment, as in BLAST, which produces the E-value. Statistical significance. FASTA also uses E-values and bit scores. Estimation of the two parameters in FASTA is essentially the same as in BLAST. However, the FASTA output provides one more statistical parameter, the E-score. This describes a number of standard deviations from the mean score for the database search. Because most of the alignments with the query sequence are with unrelated sequences, the higher the z-score for a reported match, the further away from the mean of the score distribution. Hence, the more significant the match. For a z-score less than 15, the match can be considered extremely significant, but certainly of homologous relationship. If z is in the range of 5 to 15, the sequence pair can be described as highly probable homologs. If z is greater than 5, their relationships is described as less certain. Comparison of FASTA and BLAST. BLAST and FASTA have been shown to perform almost equally well in regular database searching. However, there are some notable differences between the two approaches. The major difference in the seeding step, BLAST uses substitution matrix to find matching words, whereas FASTA identifies identical matching words using the hashing procedure. By default, FASTA scans smaller window sizes, thus it gives more sensitive results in BLAST with a better coverage rate for homolog. However, it is usually slower than BLAST. The use of low complexity masking in the BLAST procedure means that it may have higher specificity than FASTA because potential false positives are reduced. BLAST sometimes gives multiple best scoring alignments from the same sequence. FASTA returns only one final alignment. Database searching with the Smith-Waterman method. As mentioned, the rigorous dynamic programming method is normally not used for database searching because it is slow and computationally expensive. Heuristics such as BLAST and FAST are developed for faster speed. However, the heuristic methods are limited in sensitivity and are not guaranteed to find the optimal alignment. They often fail to find alignment for distantly related sequences. It has been estimated that for some families of protein sequences, BLAST can miss 30% of truly significant hits. Recent developments in computational technology such as parallel processing, supercomputers have made dynamic programming a feasible approach to database searches to fill the performance gap. For this purpose, the computer codes for the Needleman and smith Waterman algorithms have to be modified to run in parallel processing environment so that searches can be completed within reasonable time periods. Currently, the search speed is still slower than the popular heuristic programs. Therefore, the method is not intended for routine use. Nevertheless, the availability of dynamic programming allows the maximum sensitivity for finding homologs at the sequence level. Empirical tests have indeed showed that the exhaustive method produces superior results over the heuristic method. Summary. Database similarity searching is an essential first step in the functional characterization of novel gene or protein sequences. The major issues in database searching are sensitivity, selectivity, and speed. Speed is a particular concern in searching large databases. Thus, heuristic methods have been developed for efficient database similarity searching. The major heuristic database searching algorithms are BLAST and FAST. Both use a word method for pairwise alignment. BLAST looks for HSP in a database. FASTA uses a hashing scheme to identify words. Major statistical measures for significance of database matches are E-values and bit scores. The caveat for sequence database searching is to filter the LCRs using masking programs. Another caveat is to use protein sequences as a query in database searching because they produce much more sensitive matches. In addition, it is important to keep in mind that both BLAST and FASTA are heuristic programs and are not guaranteed to find all homologous sequences. For significant matches automatically generated by these programs, it is recommended to follow up the leads by checking the alignment using more rigorous and independent alignment programs. Advances in computational technology have also made it possible to use full dynamic programming in database searching with increased sensitivity and selectivity. Multiple sequence alignment. A natural extension of pairwise alignment is multiple sequence alignment which is to align multiple related sequences to achieve optimal matching of the sequences. As the process generates multiple matching sequence pairs, it is often necessary to convert the numerous pairwise alignments into a single alignment, which arranges sequences in such a way that evolutionary equivalent positions across all sequences are matched.
is a unique advantage of multiple sequence alignment because it reveals more biological information than many pairwise alignments can. For example, it allows identification to conserve sequence patterns and motifs in the whole sequence family, which are not obvious to detect by comparing only two sequences. Any conserved and functionally critical amino acid residues can be identified in a protein multiple alignment. Multiple sequence alignment is also essential a prerequisite to carrying out phylogenetic analysis of sequence families and prediction of protein secondary tertiary structure. Multiple sequence alignment also has applications in designing degenerate polymerase chain reaction PCR primer based on multiple related sequences. It is theoretically possible to use dynamic programming to align any number of sequences as for pairwise alignment. However, the amount of computing time and memory it requires increases exponentially as the number of sequences increases. As a consequence, full dynamic programming cannot be applied for data sets of more than 10 sequences. In practice, heuristic approaches are most often used. Scoring function. Multiple sequence alignments is to arrange sequences in such a way that a maximum number of residues for each sequence are matched up according to a particular scoring function. The scoring function for multiple sequence alignment is based on the concept of sum pairs, SP. As the name suggests, it is the sum of the scores of all possible pairs of sequences in the multiple alignment based on a particular scoring matrix. In calculating the SP scores, each column is scored by summing the scores for all possible pairwise matches, mismatches, and gap costs. Exhaustive algorithms. As mentioned, there are exhaustive and heuristic approaches used in multiple sequence alignment. The exhaustive alignment method involves examining all possible aligned positions simultaneously. Similar to dynamic programming and pairwise alignment, which involves the use of a two-dimensional matrix to search for an optimal alignment. To use dynamic programming for multiple sequence alignment, extra dimensions are needed to take all possible ways of sequence matching into consideration. This means to establish a multi-dimensional search matrix. For instance, for three sequences, a three-dimensional matrix is required to account for all possible alignment scores. Backtracking is applied to the three-dimensional matrix to find the highest scored path that represents the optimal alignment. Good day, this is Professor Will, CBMD PhD on Infectious Disease, Molecular Microbiology, and Pathophysiology. I well, hope you enjoyed listening. Until next time, have a great day.